Rule 708, any runner is out when, B, he intentionally interferes with a thrown ball or hinders a fielder attempting to make a play on a batted ball. A runner who is judged to have hindered a fielder who is attempting to make a play on a batted ball is out whether it was intentional or not. A runner must avoid a fielder attempting to field a batted ball. The fielder is protected from being interfered with the moment the ball is hit toward him and the umpire judges that he's the one who can field the ball. The runner must avoid him wherever that fielder needs to go to field the ball. The runner has no right of way. The runner is out if he interferes whether it was intentional or not. The fielder is protected from the time he attempts to field the ball up until he releases the throw. If the ball gets away from him and it's within a step and a reach, he's still protected from being interfered with. If the ball gets further away and he has to chase it, then he would not be protected and no interference would be called unless it was intentional. Rule 2.00 Interference Offensive interference is an act by the team at bat which interferes with, obstructs, impedes, hinders, or confuses any fielder attempting to make a play. If the umpire declares the batter, batter runner, or a runner out for interference, all other runners shall return to the last base that was in the judgment of the umpire legally touched at the time of the interference unless otherwise provided by these rules. Rule 7.08b, any runner is out when he intentionally interferes with a thrown ball. Interference with a thrown ball is a general category. It means intentional interference with the thrown ball when it's in flight, or it can be with the fielder's attempt to throw the ball, or it can be with the fielder's attempt to catch a thrown ball. The thing to remember is to call an out for interference, it must be intentional, which means the runner must do something other than simply try to get to the base safely. If he's trying to get to the base, which is your judgment, and some collision occurs, there's no penalty. If in your judgment he did something other than trying to get to the base to interfere with the fielder's play, then there would be a penalty. Also, he's not out just because he tries to interfere. There must be an actual hindrance of the attempted play. On this play, the runner clearly slides at the fielder and interferes with his attempt to make the throw. This could be judged as intentional interference since he didn't slide to the base. Since he was already out before the interference occurred, the batter runner would be out for his teammate's interference. As soon as you judge that interference was occurred, you call time, that's interference, and the batter runner is out. All other runners would have to return to the base held at the time of the interference. You do not wait to see if the play completes. You make the call when you judge that interference occurred. On this play, the runner tries to hinder the fielder, but he's so late getting there that the throw is already completed without any hindrance. So even though he tried to interfere, there's no penalty here. He didn't interfere with the play. There is no must slide rule in baseball. The fact that this runner comes into the base standing up is not interference. He was just trying to get to the base and did nothing else other than run to the base. On this play, the runner comes into the base standing up, which is not interference by itself, but he also raises his arms and intentionally swats at the glove. That is intentional interference, and you would call the batter out.